those praying legs. Whoa! It's, whoa! They're the only insects in the, whoa! Woo! I'm Jack Randall. Oh, bum! See that? That was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild. I think it's down here. Whoa, Up close and personal. And a massive snake! OK, there's a scorpion on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated bifin in the water. Come on, let's go. Today, I'm looking for the orchid praying mantis. It's just unbelievable. The fact that it has evolved to look just like a flower, to go to the extra level in order to actually attract your prey is one step further than the rest of a praying mantis. The orchid praying mantis is on the top of the list is the master of deception. And that is the species I'm after today. Look at that, those petals there. That's what I'm looking for. I'm actually looking for an animal that's moving. They're trying to mimic flowers just like that to attract insects to come along, which they will eat as prey. I've been looking for this orchid praying mantis in three different locations now, and I'm still not getting any sighting of one. They stay very still because of their sit and wait hunting strategy. I think I really need to fine tune my eye for any little bits of movement. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be like the praying mantis. I'm gonna sit and wait. This might take a bit of time. Look at this. Look just behind this leaf. It just shows if you're quiet enough and you really do look, you can find stuff. When my eyes fine tuned, I can see that antennae moving there. Incredible. That is really quite a unique coloration. Look at that, really dark, reddish mandibles there. And those wings, really colorful. Really light legs as well. Really long antennae. That's an amazing find. Right, I might go for a wonder with this one on my shoulder. Jeez, look at this. I cannot believe my eyes. That is definitely moving. That is moving. That is it. The orchid praying mantis. And there you are. I cannot believe it. You have proved the hardest animal to find out here in the rainforest. I'm literally so excited. It's insane. Oh, I don't even know what to do. So just bring, bring this down. Praying mantises do not fly. But we've obviously disturbed the prey. Don't move, man. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to show you this. Come up with me, on my hand. Orchid brain mantis, look at that. That is the most unbelievably delicate looking insect I've ever seen in my entire life. Can you believe that? It's so well adapted, looking just like an orchid, like a flower. Those four back legs look just like the petals of a flower. I can't believe my luck, I'm actually sweating. It's not even that hot. Look at that, you can see why they call them praying mantises the way they, they're kind of in that bent position, almost like he's praying. That's what he was doing right there, hoping to attract an insect along. An insect would see these petals thinking there may be some nectar in there. Actually, it turns out to be a predator. This is a predator right here. Those those front legs are poised in order to grab its prey and spring out. Those, those praying legs, whoa, just flew. Okay, I didn't realize they did that. Woo, it, whoa. They're the only insects in the, whoa. 
many, many people look for this animal, this insect, and never find one. There isn't actually a flower in sight. The orchid praying mantis doesn't want to be near a flower because he has more chance of attracting insects that are nearby just to him. Unlike some of the mimics that we have found in the rainforest, like the pit viper or the stick insects, this guy is actually mimicking um, a flower in order to attract its prey. That's incredible. The other animals that are mimicking are either doing it to camouflage in order to be a good predator and be able to find their way or to avoid predation. But this one is actually doing a totally unique strategy, actually attracting the prey to it. It's what I would call aggressive mimicry. Look at the way this mantis is swaying as well. Just like the sick insects were doing, a very, very careful movement, moving just like a flower would. There's absolutely no species that is quite as special as this guy. In terms of evolution, it's number 10 out of 10. He really is adapted for survival. It's really important for me now to note down exactly where I found this specimen and what time of the day and what behavior he was adopting and how big it was. All of those bits of data is really important for understanding more about these animals. Really, there's very little known about the biology of the orchid praying mantis. I could spend all day with this one, seeing what you're doing. Looking around, look at them, surveying around. Hilarious. <laughs> what a character. Now I think it's time to let this one go. But before I do so, I'm gonna take a few photos Yes. But what I'm gonna do is similar to what I did with the stick insects. Stick to a very, very small area and really be thorough. If I sit in a particular area looking around for any wildlife, I'll start to see movement. Often you'll get to an area and you'll be like, there's nothing, nothing around, no, no animals alive, there's no insects. But once you sit still and the animals get used to your presence, they start moving again.